I've been playing Minecraft for over 10 years. My mom has played 10 seconds. When was the last time you played a video game? No me acuerdo. No sé. De repente antes de que tú nacieras. Have you ever played Minecraft? Nope. Nunca. Okay, so she might not be the gamer type, let alone play Minecraft, but naturally the first thing I wanted to teach her was... Redstone in less than an hour. No sé. No creo. You think I can teach you how to make a 3x3 three three piston door in that time? No tengo idea de lo que me estás hablando. No sé qué es eso. Well, mother, by the end of this, you'll know what words just came out of my mouth. So, with my very willing participant and 60 minutes on the clock, we started a new Minecraft world. I made a world with many lessons and stuff, many, many little exercises uh, to walk you through the process. Yep, the process of going through the very basics of redstone wiring and its various components that would eventually lead us all the way up to our 3x3 door. But before any of that, there was a small problem. So, do you know how to play a computer game? See? Okay, move around. And this was the face of awe and horror because I just witnessed my mother use arrow keys in the year 2023. I might as well have seen a murder. Um, are you ASD to move? No. Yes? No. Yes. <laughs> que sorry. Yo aprendí a jugar con las flechitas. Todavía me acuerdo cómo se juega con flechitas. In the year 2023, you use WASD to move. No. We used to... No, you used WASD. <laughs> this was going to be a long night. But we trudged through anyway. Barely knowing how to walk, we had to move on. So after showing her around the spawn room with various redstone components and little wires, I presented the task of the 3x3 door. It's a button. That's what you're gonna build at the end. You're gonna build that. No. Okay, maybe that was just a little bit of intimidation coming out, but I, I still think she could learn how to do this, right? This is the insane nine lesson we're gonna do. What? Okay, also not the reaction I wanted. What does the sign say? Basic wiring first. Okay, go into the chest. I don't like cable. You wanna take those things in the chest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. So now you're gonna go into your little play area. So just make a big old wire. Make one long wire. I don't like it. So now you have a lamp and a lever. So on one end of the wire, you're gonna put your lever, and on one end, you're gonna put the lamp. No, not on top, that's not- uh, The redstone's pointing at the lamp, so when it's turned on, it's gonna turn it on. Lick it. If you right-click again- Oh, it turns on! Let's look at the wire, let's see, let's look at it, let's look at it- Oh, you turned the light on, you turned the light on! Okay. Well, despite the reaction, this was a huge accomplishment. We just turned on a light. After that, we then went through all the other inputs. Redstone block, torch, pressure plate, button, you right click, it turns on and off. So those are your basic inputs. As well as going through some more redstone components that were more interesting than lamps because, well... Ah, it's boring. But I guess this was a lie because for some reason she really enjoyed the note block. A lot. Like, really a lot. And with inputs and outputs out of the way, it was time to move on to the next redstone component. The redstone repeater. The redstone only goes to 15. You put a repeater at the end, it'll recharge it fully again. So that's one use for the repeater. However, here's a second use. If you look at the repeater, you can change the timings. One tick, two tick, then three ticks, and then four ticks, and then it goes back to normal. So these are used for timing stuff. You don't need any of that. Take your lever, put it on the ground right there. So it's powering itself in an infinite loop. You don't want that, because then you can't turn it off unless you break it. You don't have to break everything. You don't have to break it. Don't break everything. Don't break it. Okay, fine. It's on! <laughs> See, it goes slower and that goes faster. You can... Huh? No. No? No veo la diferencia. You don't. Let me make a setup where you can see the difference. If I flick this lever, well, how do you think the lamps are going to turn on? Te va a prender todo al mismo tiempo. And go one after another. Like that. You understand why? No. This is one tick, mm -hmm. two ticks, three ticks, mm -hmm. four ticks. I go like that. Okay. Okay, hasta aquí. Hasta aquí? Sí. No, no, we, okay, we, we, let's get through these. Yeah, you could probably tell by my reaction. I was a little bit, well, um, flabbergasted because the original plan was to do this entire video recording in just one day, maybe an hour, just like the title said. Now everyone is going to say it's clickbait. And she wants to stop it now. We barely got through one third of the lessons. What the hell are we going to do? Tuve que aprender las cosas básicas del juego. Sí, ya me gustan los juegos que, que sea ya directo con el ratón. No le trica. Now I'm realizing that the worst part is I only have a week to 
record the whole thing because people are coming over on Sunday. I'm recording this on Tuesday and then the entire setup is going to be taken down and I won't have the lighting interviews. Oh my god, what the hell am I going to do? We're back. It's day two now. But do you remember last time? Uh, we have wiring, cablecitos, tenemos cosas que se prenden. Okay, so you kind of know. Today was all about learning how to carry redstone signals in different directions using torches, repeaters, and oh my god, the brand new observer. So put a block in front of the redstone line you just made, one of the yellow blocks. You can put a redstone torch on that block. You notice it turned off. This is how you make not gates in Minecraft. So if the input is on, the output is off. Now put a block on top of the redstone, on top of that one. Right there, now take your torch again. This is called a torch tower. You see how when the redstone's on, it turns this off, and then it turns that on. I want you to connect 10 repeaters to each other. Okay, just back to back. No, not like that. Then it's gonna power. And you can place more repeaters. A little more, a little more. That, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. I don't like it. It's not like redstone where you can just chain them. That's not gonna work. Bonk. If you power it, you can see that it gradually, you see how it gradually does it? It's not instant like redstone. So, here's a different block. This is called the observer. There's two sides to an observer. So you see this red side has a little angry face. Mm -hmm. It looks like your face right now. So basically what the observer does, that is literally what it does. Anything it sees happen in that block, it will pulse. It'll turn on and off like a button. Only lasts mm -hmm. for one tick. Look at Powers, unflick it, and power. And now with the observer covered, we've basically gone through every single wiring component. But to make a piston door, we first have to learn about the pistons. To understand how pistons push from earlier. Pistons. You go in front, I have a little loop of blocks. So with your four pistons, what I want you to do, is that way, that way, that way, then that way. That's one. Where does the second one have to go? That, that way. And place it. There we go. Is that two of them? Oh, okay. The third piston, now the last one. So we have our four pistons, right? Go bam, 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 bam. You have to use either repeaters or observers, or both if you want to. Though it powers one, two, three, four. But let's start taking a redstone signal from that button into our second piston. Let's put a repeater right at the end. Yeah, just do the max just to be safe. Yeah. We just need our last piston. So now, now place your repeaters. You're learning, you're learning. Push the button. You made a loop. Good job! Yeah. And while we're still on the topic of pistons, how could we forget about quasi connectivity? The thing that Bedrock players love complaining about on Twitter. Okay, quasi connectivity. Well, okay. Something Basically, is not complete. It has this invisible box. It'll only realize it's powered by invisible box mm -hmm. if it's like updated. So I can do stuff like this. She immediately forgot about it, and well, we're gonna move on anyway, and we're gonna make a two by two piston door. You have to move those blocks out of the way. How do we move these out of the way? Okay, so like this. Exacto, entonces este aquí para acá y te lo traes para acá. Uh -huh. Y entonces puedo hacer lo mismo de este lado. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so how do we wire them? Tengo un lever para activar estas cosas. Okay, so I have a lever. How do I connect things to that lever? Voy a ponerle pelotitos de esto. Agarra chuk 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 y lo traes para acá. That's gonna work. No sé. How do we make it point that way? Where do I put it? Pointing that way. I don't know. So it's like something like this then. Ah, eso es lo que decía. And now we have the top ones left. Okay. Entonces, te haces lo que estabas explicándome del otro lado, le pones una cajita invisible ahí, no sé. Entonces tienes que poner un lever de estos aquí arriba. Just do that? Yeah. How can we make these sides power at the same time? Clicking. Es que todo es así como complicado. No sé qué disfrutan haciendo en el juego. Yo estoy esperando divertirme en un juego, no pensar en un juego. Estoy menos cansada que hoy, puedo ser que termine todo. Last day. With more, with more enthusiasm. So far we've been working with on off. Just it, you turn it on mm -hmm. and you turn it off. These are pulses. It doesn't stay on or stay off. It like blinks. If I put a sticky piston here and I put a block in front of it. So what's going to happen when I flick the lever? Sí, la piedrita va a subir y va a bajar más lento. That's exactly what happened. Now what happens if I do this? This is where the, the funny stuff comes in. Eso va contra toda la física. El hecho de que los cubitos estén flotando en el aire 
va contra la física, sí. ¿Por qué los cubos flotan? No, eso no es así. Eso no es real. So now you know that pistons can spit out blocks. That's going to be important. We're just going to place the pistons around the door so it would open. We know from the 2x2 two two, we can do something like, like, like this, right? You're sí, understanding pero, what's happening. Pero falta uno del medio. Ahora tendrías que hacer que este también funcione. No te podrías ponerlo abajo para que empuje todo para arriba. O wow. arriba para que empuje todo now freeze, zoom, and enhance. You see the angle on that head tilt. Well, that's because she somehow, of course, by accident, perfectly described not just any 3x3 door layout, but the smallest 3x3 door layout. Now, for this video, we went with the classic one because it's a lot easier, but it makes you wonder. Maybe my mom is the best redstoner to ever exist. Clicking. Okay, no, it was definitely a fluke. We have to build a circuit that can use two pistons to pull a block two blocks away. So, two pistons, we start with this. How do we extend it two blocks up? O sea que a mí la parte física que esté volando en el aire no me cuadra. Va contra la física. A sticky piston is not a slight block. You should get to work like that. Uh -huh. It does not work like that, however. Tiene que, algo que tiene que pasar aquí. Something, like anything can uh -huh. happen. Okay, so what thing could we make happen behind that? If you want to explode everything. No. No? Solamente algo atrás. Para que haga. Now how do we power the note block? Lo conecte con cablecito para acá. Okay, your basic wiring knowledge has gone completely off the way, so you think this is gonna work. Ah, no sé. Pon una perita aquí abajo. Like that? Sí. Y no sube. It does, okay. You know what we could do? Mm -hmm. Do something as easy as lifting this. No, you said put a block under it. No! Oh, <laughs> you said put a block under it. Like that? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Don't stick your tongue at me! So this is the big, big version. I'll show you the tiny, tiny version. Do you know how it works? No. Let's build the bottom two blocks of the 3x3. Mm -hmm. We have to activate this. Uh -huh. okay. so, this. so how do we do that? Este me lo como hiciste aquí, pones un lever en algún lado, lo conectas con repeater, le pones cablecito. How do I connect this lever? Do this piston. Le pones otra piedrita aquí. Faltan cositas. No le pones cablecito. Ay, se movió uno. We want these middle two blocks of the 3x3. Three three. Entonces repite esto allá. <laughs> You're you are at short term memory right now. <laughs> oh. Se pone un repeater en el medio para que le dé el, el delay. Y, y hace retract más delay. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh. No! Ahora necesitas que esto se vuelva a subir con, activando aquí abajo. How do we connect this redstone wire to that observer? Necesitas que algo se active aquí, una nota de esa, una cajita musical, una lámpara, una cosa de esa. Music box, like, you mean a note block. Esa, no le puedes poner otra cajita aquí de estas rojas y con un cablecito para allá. Entonces, ¿Y no? No. ¿No? ¿Ves? Bueno. <laughs> Right now, all of these pistons also need to be powered. We made this pretty easy for ourselves because we made this very large redstone line that we can take out in any direction. Okay, entonces súbelo y lo sube y lo conecta. Desde el que tienes aquí, ponle las, las cajitas esas transparentes que suben como escalera. We have those three. Now we have four more. Can you put redstone here? No, ajá. No? No, 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 así no va a funcionar. Necesitas conectar de aquí abajo primero. It's connected. It's, it's extending. <laughs> Where do you want me to put the glass block? Here or here? In los dos sitios. You can also just do that. So how do we power this last one? Oh, oh, like this? Oh, but we run out of power. One out of repeater. We can't put a repeater up here. You know what we can use though? Okay. Torches. You can do something like that. And put like another torch like that. You should do the honors. Right click, not left click. ¿Cómo me siento después de todo esto? Que sé que no voy a volver a jugar Minecraft más nunca. <ríe> Sorry, fans.